Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we were busy setting up this system right here, which automatically uh, works on every single ore that we are having generated. So iron, gold, copper, silver, all that good stuff. And I want to move on towards end game stuff. If we go into the quest here, down here there's an end game tab containing Project E, and then Densitas Infinita, I'm probably butchering that. Um, and then we have the ultimate armor, which would be the ultimate goal. However, as you can see, we need quite a few things, and a lot of these things need automation. And so before we can get to the ultimate armor, we need to get to Densitas Infinita. And we have a very... I am so thankful that they have added this down here, because otherwise I would not know where to even begin with all this stuff. But... We would need to start here and then move on over. However, I want to stop today. I don't know how far we'll get, but I want to get into Project E. I have never played with Project E, so if I mess everything up, well, then, yeah, we're gonna learn this the hard way together. However, before we go ahead and do that, I want to set some f a few things up with refined storage. Primarily, auto-crafting, if possible, and I have not played with this either, I don't know how this works, so we're going to, again, find out either an easy an easy way or a hard way. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a crafter here, which I assume is what we need in order to go ahead and do this. So in storage, crafter, crafters craft using patterns, which is why we're going to be making a pattern as well. And I think we'll be needing multiple of these. Electric motor? Okay, that's cool. Um, but I believe we also need a requester. And for this, I will need to make a few things here, as you can see. Uh, first of all, the machine casing, a detector, which I don't exactly know what does. Um, pretty sure I made a machine casing, did I not? I guess I didn't. <laughs> I guess it got used by something else. I also need two of these crafting upgrades, which also requires an upgrade? I need a lot of this stuff. You know what? Let's make a stack of that. That's going to make this process a whole lot easier. I think I need two of those. And I need to go ahead and make two of these. And then I can go ahead and make this. The requester keeps the filtered iron slash fluid in stock with the desired amount. Yes, that is something that I do want. So, um, let's put this probably over here. Crafter. I assume I add patterns to this. Um, again, that's an assumption. We also have a requester, and then we have the patterns, which I don't know how we use. I also made two new grids here, the fluid grid and the pattern grid, and I believe I need pattern creation. Create patterns with a pattern grid and a, pa and a pattern. Okay, I guess that is how that works. Okay, can I get a little bit more cabling? We should have plenty from our mission yesterday, or the last episode. Uh, I think that's connected. It might even actually be connected this way, because this lit up, so I assume it is. Anyway, so if I go into the grid, and I do pattern here, and let's just say stick. Let's just say I want our system to be able to craft sticks, not these sticks but normal sticks, so I need to take the recipe, which is uh, oak planks. Actually, let's do planks. So I want planks, yep. So I want to save this recipe right here. I press create, I can press shift to see what this pattern is set to. And I believe I can add that to our crafter. So if I then go ahead and do a chest, uh, that is not synchronized. That is way too big. <laughs> Meet that. Nope. That uh, search box. JI synchronized. So if I go ahead and say chest. If I then go ahead and say, listen, I want a chest. I think it automatically. Oh, well, I need to go over here and search chest, actually. Uh, and let's remove all planks that we have in our system here. So now I can press craft and I can say how many I want crafted. Let's say I want a stack, start, 
and then it is now crafting those items and with the requester we'll be able to say hey make sure that we always have 64 planks in our system so that's that done however if i go ahead and make a chest uh, of course, it's going to take it from my inventory. So if I just go ahead and do this, can I get my pastel back? Thank you very much. So chest. Now the planks are completely gone. I go ahead here. Why are these still being shown? Oh, they were added to the system. Okay. Let's try this again for like the seventh time. So here we are. Control click to request auto -craft crafting. So if I just click it, nothing happens. But if I control click this, it says, hey, I need to craft eight oak planks. And that's going to cost two oak blocks. I can click start. And it's going to then craft the planks for me. So now when I type chest, I can go ahead and press that. So that's really cool. Now I wonder if I put this in here and say, Make sure that we have 64, 64 oak patterns. I think it is always going to make sure that we have 64 planks in the inventory. Missing ingredients. Well, that's not good. Okay, I did it. I this shouldn't put the filter in here. I need to put what I want crafted in here. So in this case, oak planks. And now as you can see, we have a stack of oak planks. If I go ahead and say, listen, I want uh, 128, so two stacks. It will now start crafting those items until we have 128 in the system. This is huge. Now it's time to finally empty my inventory of planks. This is huge because I can set up things like, for example, power. I use power a lot, which means I use these dielectric rods a lot, which means I use direct uh, dielectric paste a lot. I'm bars, for example. I'll be able to set this up as recipes. Or because I use refined storage a lot, I can use uh, quartz. Yes, for example, quartz and Quartz enriched, enriched iron. I use that a lot for refined storage stuff. I can set that ahead and I can go ahead in the request and say, hey, make sure we always have at least a stack so I can keep crafting things uninterrupted. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and just add, make a bunch of stuff right off the right off the bat here. I am gonna go ahead though, whenever I find something that I see that I seem to use a lot, for example, I just remembered, why did I put that away? <laughs> I just remembered that I use sticks a lot. So I'm gonna make a pattern for sticks. So we can go ahead and do that right now in the pattern grid. I'm going to add those here. And I want to add sticks to the recipe. Boom, create. Now I have a pattern for sticks. Boom, the electric paste. Uh, which one recipe do I want to use? Doesn't really matter. I think this one is nicer because then it can actually add to a stack. There we go. Dielectric paste right there. Iron bars, pattern for that as well. And enrich quartz iron, create just like so. And now I can add these to the crafter. And I can also then go ahead and take the items that I, dielectric paste that I am, uh, that I have patterns for. And I can go ahead in the requester and say, uh, yeah, 128 sounds good. So I can go ahead and add the stick electric paste, uh, enriched quartz, and iron bars, and boom, add that. And now always this thing is going to make sure that we have 128 iron bars, quartz enriched iron, dielectric paste, sticks, etc. And of course, these have limited inventory, so we can make multiple crafters. I can stack them up. We can also make multiple requesters. So let's say I have a requester only for 32 items, items that I only want 32 of in the system. I can set that up because maybe I don't want 128 stacks, right? So I can set that up. And just like that, crafting just got a whole lot easier for us. Oh, huh, it hadn't registered I made the requester. There we go. I, I get bread. <laughs> I died. I, I I got bread. Yay. Also, it would appear that apparently some machines are faster than others. This is just sitting here doing nothing because we're waiting on the crusher. So maybe adding upgrades to all the crushers could be something that we do in the future. However, not now. I want to get into Project D, which I have never gotten into before. 
We will not look in that direction because I have definitely, oh, I have definitely, um, most definitely cleared up the mess in between episodes. Most certainly. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But yes, Project E. I think the furthest I got with it was in All Number 7 to the Sky, and I made this thing. <laughs> the philosopher, this philosopher, philosopher's Stone, which is going to be the first step, as we can see in our Project E journey. And in order to make this thing, I need a nether star. I can get blocks of all this stuff easily. However, I need the nether star, which I guess means I need to get wither skulls and also defeat the wither. However, with our refined iron, uh, refined obsidian and stuff, this should be a breeze. And it just so happens that I have nine wither skeleton skulls. So that is three heads right there and enough soul sand to spawn the boss. I just need to get far, far away from here. All right, I think I'm ready. I went ahead and made this electric bow from mechanism. I don't know how good it's going to be or how much damage it does. There's also this thing called fire mode, which I can trigger using N. I don't know if that's then going to make... Okay, so it basically just makes the arrow fire, on fire basically. All right, well, here we go. I decided to do it in the end ring and hopefully that is going to limit the destruction of this. <laughs> I only have uh, 52 arrows and I didn't bring any golden apples, so this could be bad. I can always teleport home if need be, but here we go. Hopefully it's not gonna, okay, it takes, okay, it takes quite a while to do any damage on it actually. Um, and it's slowly making its way over. Maybe hitting it with the sword is... Yeah, it's way faster hitting it with the sword. I'm just gonna stay behind cover. Uh-oh. Half health. 25% health. I haven't been with it once. Okay. Spoke too soon. And it's dead. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. All things considered. Wither is gone. And we got the Death Star. I only used... 40 arrows. Huh. Yeah, not too bad. And I didn't even equip my chest plate. I had the armor jetpack on. Which if I had the chest plate on, I would have had a lot more armor. So, all in all, not too bad at all. So now, with the nether star, I should be able to go ahead and now craft the philosopher's... The, the philosopher's stone. There we go. Okay. And we also made the advancement, of course, in Project E. There we go. Oh, we got a crystal matrix block. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we can make a watch of flowing time. The watch of flowing time will speed up machines nearby you at the cost of EMC. Enable with the change mode keybind, which is unbound by default. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't quite understood the whole thing about generating... Uh, e what, what was it called again? EMC. Um, I... Don't know how that works exactly, but I guess we'll get to it eventually. That does that says something. Energy collectors passively generate EMC, sending it out to adjacent blocks like the energy condenser. Energy collectors from the add-on reach much higher tiers, producing exponentially more EMC per second. Okay, that's interesting. So I guess we would be able to make one of those, but I think I'm just going to follow this tree down here and hope that we get in some sort of direction that is uh, beneficial for us. Chemical. Alchemy, al alchi wow, that says alchemical, alchemical, right? We're just gonna say it does. Uh, smell more items than normal coal and are used in certain recipes. So I want to make some of this stuff. So if I do this right here, I should be able to, yep, make a stack. And now I should be able to also convert some of this into this stuff right here, more obvious fuel, which I don't know what exactly it is. And if I go ahead and head in here, there's also this, which we can then turn this. Uh, feel off as a, feel, I can't speak today, apparently. But if we go ahead and take this, we then have this fuel right here. I just want to make sure that I have a little bit, at least, on my hands. All right, cool. Uh, so we got that, which is then apparently used in certain recipes. Crafted tier three. Interesting. Uh, clean stars, as well known as magnum stars, store EMC in your inventory. And there's a bunch of different ones. Okay. Uh, 
I guess they're different tiers. Yeah, that should be easy enough to make. Okay. Clean star. Quest complete. Now I guess this kind of works like a battery. I don't think it is just passively generating EMC though. Which would of course make sense. There we go. And then we have Dark Matter, which then unlocks Dark Matter Armor right here, which isn't as good as our refined obsidian. However, it is unbreakable and very resistant to damage, so maybe the numbers doesn't have a huge effect. We also have this stuff right here, which looks really interesting. It's unbreakable and even more resistant to damage, so that's definitely something that we want. So I guess we just... is this something craftable? Dark Matter Block... Okay, so we need to actually go ahead and make the dark matter here. So to make this, we need a ton of this fuel right here and a diamond block. That should be easy enough. So if I go ahead and just add a ton of coal, make like this many stacks, I should get a stack of Morbius fuel, which then in turn gives me 16 uh, of this fuel. And then if I have a few blocks of diamonds, a few... <laughs> And then go ahead and get Dark Matter. Boom! We have made our very first Dark Matter, which has now unlocked Dark Matter Armor, Dark Matter Tools, and Rings of Power. And there's a bunch of different ones here. We got Black Holes, Sucks in Nearby Item Drops, uh, Dumps in Adjacent Inventories, Fire Arrows at Nearby Mobs, uh, Accelerates Growth of Nearby Crops. Okay, that's cool. Nearby Mobs Combust. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of cool stuff here. I don't know how many of these, like, what the... Like, which ones are really good to have, like, almost a must. Um, but, I mean, having... Where was it? This thing would be kind of cool, in my opinion. So, first we make an iron band. Then we need to make... Uh, one, two, three, four. If I had shift-clicked that, that would have been pretty bad. I then need to go ahead and make, or get, two feathers. I also have some unwanted guests, apparently. Alright, two feathers acquired, so now we got this thing. Oh, and it's infinite. It just works. I don't even need arrows in my inventory. Okay, that's very useful. Very, very useful. Does it use EMC though? It does use EMC, so I need to charge it up. I need to get into like all the EMC, like what it, what the different things, uh, things are and whatnot. Uh, we have unlocked red matter now. Well, we do have tools right here, but looks like they need to be charged with EMC as well. So I really should look into the energy condenser converts items into EMC and then EMC into another item. Okay, I need this thing i think and in order to make this i need a dark matter block so i can get rid of this alchemical chest red matter block dirt chest and crystal chest okay so that makes sense so a dark matter block is a bunch of dark matter and i don't think i have enough of this unfortunately thankfully coal is not something that we are lacking at this point in time i do need to be careful though all right, four dark matter makes a dark matter block. Then I need this chest right here, which is a an obsidian chest, which is a diamond chest, amethyst bronze ingot. Oh dear. Okay, red matter block. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is getting very expensive all of a sudden. I think I can manage this though. Um, dirt chest. Yep, that's easy enough. Crystal chest. I do need a diamond chest. Okay. All right, that's the crystal chest, and then this is the obsidian chest. I think I can put this in my backpack now. And so now all I need is to make, well, this and then the red matter block. Well, I managed to make one red matter, um, but that is pretty much all the stuff that I can afford because coal is at an all-time low. All right, it is a little bit later since the last time you saw the cut, and well, I think I have solved my coal problem. And it's actually pretty simple. It is thanks to this fella right here, or I should say these. I have 15 10 10 10 coal chickens generating almost a stack 
of coal like well that fast and now I have 16 <laughs> uh, it, it took a little bit but it's actually not too bad once you get started with the process so that is really cool and I did do a change behind here and I think this change is something that I'm going to implement for all or most of the roosts because the ender chest Okay, right now I, I had to add a second ender chest for the system to keep up because this one was just flooded with items. But it seems like adding a secondary seems to have fixed the issue. However, uh, what I did here was I connected the coal rooster, uh, roost directly to the drawer. Um, why it says it's full, I think it's because this thing is full. Yeah. We're actually full on coal. So that's nice. We now have exactly infinite amount of coal. For even even with the machines down there running, I don't think we're gonna run out anytime soon. But with that said, I think that I am now ready. I have made the four red matter that we can now turn into a red matter block. This thing is really expensive. And now I can go ahead and almost make the alchemical chest. I also went ahead and made this amethyst bronze ingot, which is really simple. If you go into the casting table and then to the alloying, you just need to melt down some amethyst shards and then some molten copper and that then together makes molten amethyst bronze, which is cool. Now all I need to do is I need to go ahead and make this covalence dust, which I just need to energize. So it's actually a pretty simple recipe. So it is time to go and do just that. So for the first one, we need four pieces of coal and one diamond. Boom. Then four redstone dust and sink. Boom. And then four redstone dust and two compressed cobblestone. Uh, oh, my bad. One compressed cobblestone. There we go. And boom, that is the different dusts that we need. And I can go ahead and put this back in. And I think I have everything that I need in order to make the alchemical chest. And with that, we can go ahead and make the energy condenser. Because now I need to energize all of these things right here. It will cost 5 million FE, but it is hopefully going to be very much worth it. So we currently are full on power. It is time to see how this is going to go. Yep, it needs to charge up to 5 million. It is draining our power from up here. And yep, yeah, I'll be back when it's at 5 million FE. And here we go. Boom. Energy condenser has been completed. The power of the sun and condense the world. Now, let's go ahead and take this. There is a Mark II. Um, which I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that is something for the future. Uh, energy collectors passively generate EMC, sending it out to adjacent blocks like the energy condenser. Um, energy collector mark one, two, and three. Okay, that's expensive. Let's, let's try and place this down for now. I'm going to place it like over here. I probably need to put a proper place for it. And now I have no idea what to do. So from my understanding, if we take like a stack of diamonds, it has a high uh, EMC count. Of course, there are other things that has high EMC as well. But if I take diamonds and put it in here, uh, in here, maybe? I don't know how this works. Okay, so this is interesting. We have the alchemy table, which the alchemy table can convert items to other items using EMC provided by energy collectors. And this is an energy collector, so maybe I do need to go ahead and make this thing. Which means I need to make another alchemical chest. I want to try something. Say I want Electrum. Say I want Electrum. Can I get Electrum? Oh, I can! Okay. Um... How long is that gonna keep going? <laughs> That's a lot of Electrum from just that stack of diamonds. Okay, then. Now I know how the energy condenser works. Wow. Okay, then. That... I'm amazed. 
So I guess if we take an electrum ingot and place it up here, it tells us, hey, you need, I think it was 1200 something, 1278 EMC, I guess, to make it. So if I take something that has a ton of EMC like this, I should get like maybe five, six electrons. Okay, that makes total sense. Okay, that's sick. So what if I take something like dark matter? It's one dark matter is equal 139,000 EMC. But could I theoretically just feed it, quote unquote, just feed it diamonds with like a stack of 16, 10, 10, 10 diamond chickens and then get infinite dark matter? Ooh. So if I take this one dark matter, clear this, and I get three stacks of diamonds because the stack of diamond is worth half a million EMC. I put that in there. I am converting diamonds into dark matter. That is such an easier process than using all the coal. <laughs> okay. And I guess the alchemy table kind of works the same way. Maybe I did it the hard way then. The alchemy table can convert items to other items using EMC provided by energy collectors. I mean, from my understanding, the energy condenser is just an quote unquote, I guess, upgraded version of the alchemy table. Converse item and then EMC. Huh. Okay, I don't think it's the exact same thing, but still. That's cool. And this is then why we want the energy collectors, because if we have energy collectors collecting EMC, then we don't need to use diamonds to generate the EMC to get into, to, to make dark matter. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I, I want to make an energy collector. And to make an energy collector, I need two glowstone blocks and one block of diamond. Then I need a furnace, very easy. I need one block of glass, and then I need another alchemical chest, which this is a problem because I don't have any netherite scrap. That's from blood magic. I don't know where to get netherite or how to get netherite scrap because I only have pure netherite. Um, so unless I somehow, and it doesn't look like I can turn normal or ancient, ancient, not ancient debris, netherite ingots into netherite scrap. It appears I might be able to use a combiner from mechanism using basalt and netherite dust, which I can get from pulverizing a netherite ingot. Oh dear, but the combiner is expensive. <laughs> okay. This is a bigger process than I thought it would be. Um, yeah. All right, slowly getting there. First, I need to make the elite control circuits. And apparently I had mechanism machines turned off, probably for a very good reason. But now I have the two elite control circuits. Now I just need four more of these and we should be good. And I think I can stop this process so my brain doesn't somehow weirdly explode due to weird mechanism frequencies. <laughs> Oh my, I have had mechanism sounds off or muffled this entire time. Listen to this. Oh wow, this is loud. <laughs> Way too loud. I uh, I think I, th I think I can muffle that again. Anyway, I should have enough for the combiner now. Just like so, that was a very expensive machine to make. However, if I go ahead and just add this here and then I go ahead and combine the, well, first of all, I need to go ahead and pulverize the netherite. And now I can take the two netherite dust into the combiner. Maybe, nope, I need basalt and the basalt need to quickly get crushed into normal basalt because I only have smooth basalt. Now I can go ahead and combine those two. And while that is running, I can go ahead and set the energizer up to make these uh, thingies. Did I do this? I think I did this wrong, didn't I? Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I definitely did. But there we go, ancient debris has been acquired. So now I can make, well, I need to, I need to cook it first. So now that we've used all this power, we are still not low on power at all. <laughs> all right, finally, I, oh. 
All right, finally, I can go ahead and make the alchem al alchemical chest. And I should be able to just go ahead and put it all in here. And boom, we have an energy collector. Woo! And I can go ahead and grab that reward. And we can go ahead and make a, make a higher tier energy collector. Uh, energy collectors from the add-on reach much higher tiers, producing exponentially more EMC per second. So that is interesting. So TBS friendly generates EMC only once a second produces EMC for a second, I guess. And this one f also for... I'll just leave it as is. So if I place this here, I can add fuel, I guess, so it goes faster. Don't know why it's not transferring over to the adjacent block. I am pretty sure I can upgrade it using fuel. But I guess... I don't actually know what that does. It doesn't seem to speed it up at all when I put... I... No idea what that does. Okay, I see now. So in here, in the energy condenser, I add the item that I wish to generate, Electrum in this case. And once that is done, it then transfers the EMC this thing generates over to this right here. And I assume I would be able to have, obviously I can upgrade it, but I can also make multiple energy collectors and have them collect the EMC for this right here. That, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty cool. Now, the next step is in this thing is also a antimatter relay. Antimatter relays transfer EMC from adjacent energy collectors to adjacent energy condensers. This way you can use 18 collectors instead of six. You could also charge EMC holding items here. So that's cool. So I think I can use basically six energy collectors at default, but making an antimatter relay basically allows me to use 18. So that is really cool. I think I'll be making some of these off camera, maybe on a stream if I get the time. So make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on for that. However, if we go back to what we were doing down here, and I think that's how you charge the dark matter tools as well. Um, but in order to make any of these dark matter tools and armor, we need Silverfish Heart. And the way you get a Silverfish Heart is from the Mother Silverfish. And it says, summon in the boss dungeon beyond the end ring. And I haven't even explored past the end ring. And turns out there's a dungeon back there. Um, and I guess we need to go find it. However, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be in the next episode. Because... I think we're running out of time and I need to do a little bit of research. But today we set up auto crafting, which is really cool. I'll probably have to set up more stuff in between episodes with the things that I craft a lot of. But also, most importantly, we got into Project E, which I'm really excited about. I have never played with this bot before. So yeah, as, as I said, I might be making more energy collectors in between episodes. And then in the next episode, I want to head towards the, the, well, past the end ring, apparently, and hopefully we'll be able to take on the mother silverfish and get a silverfish heart. And I assume I need to keep slaying the boss again and again in order to get a silverfish heart, because it doesn't seem like it has an EMC value, meaning we cannot duplicate it using EMC, unfortunately. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications. And if you have any tips or tricks or anything like that, please do let me know down below in the comments. Like I said, I am brand new to Project D. E. I am very excited. And yeah, but it, I'll take any tips and tricks I can get. But like I said, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>